Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here, but back with another TV show reaction. And today, we're going to be doing part seven of season nine for The Big Bang Theory. And I got to say, I'm ready. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. That's literally everything. This season has been gold so far. So, hopefully, we have a strong finish. We got two more videos to go, and then that'll be it. On to season 10. So, if you guys would like to watch my full length reaction to The Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's continue the Big Bang Theory. Yeah, well, I had to get a little creative because the S, R, and M keys on my laptop stopped working. Oh. Do you, A, B, could you please drive B to the Twain Stowe sub type to Bow Wow? Oh, that's the email. Is that a yes? I'm sorry, one more time, the sound is cutting out. <laughs> What, I can't read that. The video was failing. Get a computer. What? Oh Get my god. Computer. What? <laughs> Hello? Get a new computer! <laughs> when was the last time you and I built something together? Scientifically, a little over a year ago. Legos last week in my room. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Nobel Prize for Millennium Falcons that fall apart when you pick them up, we'd be set. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing here? Uh -huh. We heard there were some sexy scientists working hard all weekend. <laughs> yep, so we brought you some lunch and we are gonna go look for them. You know what? This, this part isn't that technical. You actually could. Oh, really? Called my bluff. All righty then. <laughs> <laughs> Can we really help? Yeah, well, we finished soldering these boards. It'd be great if you guys could wrap these pipe fittings with Teflon tape. Yeah, I'll show you how to do one. The end of an era. <laughs> I got here as quickly as I could. You're too late. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Sheldon, this is silly. You got emotional when that lab monkey died. <laughs> that lab monkey told me he loved me in sign language. <laughs> Choosing a new laptop is an incredibly personal ritual, but you have taken away weeks of agonizing thought, tedious research, sleepless nights filled with indecision. I and she got him another I alien word. Enough today? <laughs> well, the guy at the store said this one is great. Oh, oh, the guy. Oh, pardon me. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't realize you'd spoken to the guy. Yeah, you tell me. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of thought that goes into buying a new computer. It, it does take a lot of thought. Like this? Yeah, perfect. Oh. And it helps to have small, delicate fingers. So don't be discouraged if you can't do it as fast as me and Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we have enough solder to finish these circuit boards. We had a full spool yesterday. What can I say? I play hard, I solder even harder. <laughs> Funny story. So we have plenty of the 60-40 10 to lead ratio solder, but the spools look a lot like the 63-37 10 to lead. Hey, 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 let me stop you. That is, is not a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it off, or I'll start making WH sounds for words that just have a W. Oh, boy. You wouldn't. No, no. Watch me. <laughs> oh, God, if she starts Fine, saying whipped cream from Thank Family Guy, I'm going to freak gift. out. I really do appreciate it. Now, as you know, I had become attached to my old laptop, but I'm sure in time that this one will make me- Oh, jeepers creepers, that started up fast. Or you could just look into my eyes. Well, you only have two eyes. You got a lot of nostril hairs. <laughs> well, you know, as long as you're happy. <laughs> I am. Well, no, I, just, I, I don't want to recycle it. And you know, I don't want store credit. But why would Can we you... please change the subject? Uh-oh. Okay, how about we change it to why you're being weird about this? I'm not being weird. It's hard to explain. Who gave him that computer? Sheldon, just tell me. Somebody important All gave right. him that computer. Right? And I'm gonna need you to sign a non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> <laughs> well, I signed one before we slept together, why not now? Excuse me, you guys interested in a free screening of an upcoming movie? Uh, sorry, we can't. Well, hang on. What movie is it? Oh, I can't tell you, but it does star Will Smith. Wait, I bet it's Suicide Squad. Let's 
check it out. But I swear, if it's Will Smith and Shark Tale 2, it better be at least as good as the original. <laughs> Let's not even get started on that. I mean, it's crazy, isn't it? I moved here from Nebraska to be an actress, and now I'm sitting in an engineering lab at Caltech, helping to build a prototype for a high-tech guidance system. Hey, where are the guys? Oh, they went to the store to get solder, which is metal you melt to make science things. <laughs> Since when do you work on weekends? I'm an astrophysicist. The stars don't take a day off. We were home alone and had no one to play with. Well, the cleaning lady was there, but she doesn't like me. <laughs> what? I feel bad. Should we have asked him to stay? Yes. <laughs> Will you please tell me where we're going? Sorry, you're on a need-to-know basis. She's the one driving the car. I'm driving the car. I need to know. <laughs> come on, we're a couple of smart guys. I'm sure we can come up with a way to explain this. It doesn't make us look bad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the boys had to drive all the way to San Bernardino for the solder and got a flat. <laughs> they bought it. <laughs> Thank you for being a part of our test screening. You're about to be one of the first audiences to see Suicide Squad. Hey! <laughs> you were right. Oh, and it was terrible. Good things happen to bad people. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get started in a couple minutes. Enjoy. Raj, he really wants to see this movie. Oh, no! Him, I know, I wanna make him feel bad. <laughs> no, uh -huh. Raj and them. Leonard and I are about to see Suicide Squad. Spoiler alert, when I see you, I'm gonna spoil it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Would you oh, no. please leave the room for a moment? Why? I need to rub my genitals on their prototype. Unfrickin' believable. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna let them know that I'm here with you and that they're busted. No, you know what? Don't, don't. Let's let them think they're getting away with it. Yeah, let's see how deep a hole they can dig for themselves. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh, I mean, no. it's not testicles on a cryostat, but I like it. <laughs> I've only seen two DC movies my entire life besides the, like, the Christian Bale movies and stuff. But Suicide Squad and um, Justice League was the only two I saw, and they were absolutely horrible. So therefore, no. I can't imagine it was good. Why do we have all this? I'm sorry, what What am I looking at? Basically, everything I've ever owned. Um, every book, every t-shirt, every piece of broken electronics. Just... Why do we have this? All of it? I have a Ziploc bag filled with all my old Ziploc bags. There is... Nothing here to be ashamed of. So I'm gonna need a minute. <laughs> Sweetie, I know you think jokes like that are funny, but do you really think you could handle making out with both of us? Oh, God. No, ma'am. And just when they think they got away with it, you jump out. Yeah, that's pretty good. I love it. I'll be all like busted, and they'll be like, what? And then we'll all be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just it's a, a golf ball that my brother threw at my oh. head. <laughs> you can still feel the dent. It's right next to the hockey puck dent. <laughs> so why do you feel you need to save these things? I'd like to say it's nostalgia, but every time I think of throwing anything away, my ears start to ring and I get butterflies in my stomach. And then it feels like the butterflies get eaten by rats. Why? Because I'm a fraud. No, I purport to be a man of the mind. I've been such a, a vocal champion of the singularity. But how can I leave my body behind and become one with the internet when you... I've never even thrown a toothbrush away. <laughs> Okay, now we need to talk about your it's hoarding. Okay, Sheldon. <laughs> Did you know I have a microscope slide with a little bit of tissue from the first brain I ever dissected? I have an old teddy bear I secretly wipe my nose on for years. <laughs> okay. That was that was interesting. Oh man, when I come out of the closet, I'm gonna nail those guys. 
Yeah, I heard it. Shut up. Yeah, that sounded bad. I just wasn't gonna acknowledge it. These are for you, and if you're not too mad, we'd love to take you guys to dinner. Yeah, anywhere you want. Thank you for being honest. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't oh, be no. upset, but we did kind of have fun working on the prototype. Don't forgive them, stay mad at them! <laughs> Busting you! <laughs> Ready for dinner? Yeah. Oh no, they're, he's locked in the closet. Should no! Try? Yes! <laughs> if you ever decide you want to do something about this, I'm, I'm here for you. Thank you. I wouldn't even know how to begin. Baby steps, I guess. I will always have the dent to remember it by. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, how? <laughs> he hit it in his... It's still a couple of hours until my bedtime. What is that supposed? Oh! What did you have in mind? You look amazing. Wow. I feel like I could reach out and touch you. And yet you can't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sheldon. Nature. What the heck is going on here? Do this more often. <laughs> oh my. What a beautiful forest. <gasps> Hello, little butterfly. <laughs> What's your name? Oh! <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> I'm just enjoying some virtual reality. Why are you pretending to be outdoors? You hate it. Amy showed me a compelling study that demonstrated the cognitive benefit of spending time in the wilderness. Buddy, I am ready to drive you into the wilderness anytime you want and leave you there. <laughs> Make your jokes. But some of the participants who spent four days in the woods away from all technology reported a 50% gain in reasoning skills upon their return. <laughs> oh, no. Here's your tea. Oh! <laughs> You don't sneak up on a guy when he's sitting on a log. You know, there's a cabin in Big Bear that a doctor I work with keeps offering me. Because he's hitting on you? She. Oh, my goodness. But I could get her. <laughs> we could That's the go goal. The weekend. It'll be fun. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, if that study's real, Leonard might come back smarter than you. Are you trying to manipulate me? Yes. Well done, it worked. We're going. <laughs> The only thing you carry is our hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> hey, where you been? Uh, Raj took me to the baby doctor and then we swung by the grocery store. Did you get graham crackers? Why didn't... I mean, or, what, is the baby okay? Why didn't Howard take her to the baby doctor? Yes and yes. I just forwarded you a list of the top five lactation consultants in Los Angeles. I know my favorite, but I'd love to hear what you think. <laughs> Why do you need to talk to one? And it just got Wait, weird. why did why did Raj need to talk to one? I'm ready to go. What are you, a beekeeper? Anything you'd like to say to him? Nice hat, Sheldon. Thanks. <laughs> why are you so mean to me? <laughs> you feel like Raj is getting a little carried away with all the baby stuff? I don't think so. He just wants to be part of the experience. All right, if you say so. In the box. Oh, it's an ultrasonic microphone so we can hear the baby's heartbeat. Oh, that's cool. Can we try it? Well, actually, Raj ordered it. He made me promise to wait till he was here. Yeah, see, I think Raj so is being a be little part of the experience. Raj is doing a little too much. Without him. The battery ran out on my phone. I had to wait for my iPad to turn on. <laughs> I was afraid he was going to eat me. <laughs> <laughs> Raj just pulled up. I'm gonna say something to him. Leave it alone, he means well. So you don't think he needs to rein it in a little? Hello! Wow. <laughs> you saw him carrying that. Astronauts saw him carrying that. <laughs> <gasps> this place is great! 
Should we check each other for ticks? Sheldon, all we did was walk in from the car. Well, Literally. Suit yourself. Who wants to check me? <laughs> On the other hand, safety first. <laughs> oh, that sounds cozy. I don't think I've lit a real fire before. That's basic thermodynamics. I'm sure we can figure that out. Mm -hmm. I could stack the logs conically to facilitate airflow. That would maximize oxygen for optimal combustion. Mm -hmm. Right, so obviously... The girls are gonna do it, yep. <laughs> Scientists made that. I really appreciate your enthusiasm about the baby. Please, my pleasure. <laughs> that is such a huge bear, though. And of course, Howie and I both want you to be a part of all this. But we have to set some boundaries. I don't understand. The three of us aren't having this baby. Just the two of us. Let me just get this out of your way. <laughs> <laughs> a giant bear. <laughs> you need some help? No, I got it. Let me leave with my dignity. <laughs> <laughs> While fighting a teddy bear? <laughs> called Never Have I Ever. The rules are simple. Someone says something they've never done, but if you have done it, you take a drink. I've never That's that easy. Well, okay, now wait, have we started? Do I drink? What is happening? Okay, just... <laughs> Calm down, I'll go first. Okay, let's see. Never have I ever. She's trying to think of something she's never done before. This could take a while. No, it's only if you've done it. Oh, got it. I can't well, he was been arrested. I can't believe Penny hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I jaywalked. No, he didn't do anything. So I said, you just saw me jaywalk. Why aren't you doing your job? You know? <laughs> Maybe I should arrest you for, for impersonating a police officer. <laughs> and then you got arrested. Yo, oh, and how? You gonna cry? <laughs> Baby hormones are actually sad. I can't tell anymore. <laughs> I'll go get him. And bring back the bear. <laughs> well, never have I ever used Sheldon's toothbrush to clean the sink. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, Sheldon's gonna kill her. Never have I ever come up with a nickname for my own genitals. <laughs> Never should have told you about Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> I haven't okay, done that turn. either, so. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> All right, my turn. Uh, oh, I know. Never have I ever kept a secret bank account because I think my wife can't handle money. <gasps> I can't no. believe this. You realize I make more money than you. I, don't, I know, but this isn't a big deal. It's just a little savings I put aside. We're married. We're supposed to share everything. You mean like your massive credit card debt? Wow. Okay, Leonard. That was a lot. That was too much. I'm calling it I won. I just need to start doing my part around here. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's the case, is there anything I can do to help? Not right now, but we could try out that microphone you got us and listen to the baby's heartbeat. Really? Is it okay if I listen with you? Of course. Okay, you have every right to be mad. And what you said is true. You do make more money than me. So I had no right to do what I did. And I'm so sorry. I hope you can forgive me. How long have you had this secret account? A couple years, but I just put a few bucks aside every month for emergencies. Well, how much you got in there? $6,427. $47 once my Nana's birthday check gets here. Well, I have a secret I've been keeping from you, too. Uh-oh. Secret bank account, because that would be awesome. <laughs> I hate my job. Really? Why? Because I don't feel good flirting with doctors for sales. I mean, I know I make a lot of money, but I haven't been happy for a while. Then don't flirt with doctors for sales. Why didn't you tell me? Doesn't matter what I want. Look, this job is going to get me out of debt, so I'm going to do the grown-up thing and see it through. That is the grown-up thing. I guess. Love you. 
I love you too. I'm not hearing anything. Give me a second. Are you sure you can do this? Hey, who found four dollars and change on the beach with his metal detector? <laughs> I buried it there so we could go home. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. Thank God. I thought we were going to have another Marley B moment. And I like to think I helped. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> oh, um, never have I ever drunk milk past its expiration date. I'm too scared to do that in order to drink milk never past its expiration. Never have I ever canceled a dentist appointment. Never have I ever honked if I liked anything. <laughs> oh, uh, never have I ever thrown, caught, or touched a Frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> never have I ever pushed all the buttons in an elevator. Oh, I've definitely done that. Yeah, I've done that. Yep, that's well, me. We all have a past. <laughs> I have a question about Batman. Batman is a man who dresses up like a bat. Man bat is a part man, part bat hybrid. Mm -hmm. Now, if man bat dressed up as a man to fight crime, would he be man Batman? No. But what if Man Man dressed as a bat? Well, that's just Batman. No, if a man dresses as a bat, that's Batman. But if Man Man dresses as a bat, that's Batman Man. <laughs> so does that answer your question? Oh, I haven't asked it yet. I oh, thought you did. That's clear. Got everyone. Actually dating two women. Later. That's going to turn out dangerous. <laughs> really? The guy who for years couldn't even talk to women is suddenly going out with two of them? How is that possible? I know. Scientists have tried to reproduce it with computational models, but in each case, the world blows up. What? Why did you get a party sub? Well, people are coming over. It looks fun. Oh, we're only watching Game of Thrones. No, a party sub implies it's a party. Your attendance implies it's not. <laughs> party as much as the next man. As hey, if you're watching Game of Thrones, party. it's always a party, so I don't want to hear it. Well, you have to go. It's Penny's first time leading the Pledge of Allegiance. What the heck? <laughs> this meeting is a waste of time. Whether we make the switch from Post Raisin Bran to Kellogg's Raisin Bran should not require parliamentary procedure. Yeah. You realize one of them has sugar on the raisin. He says he's not coming to the roommate agreement meeting tomorrow. What? Why the hell did I memorize the pledge? <laughs> <laughs> you have fun. I will not be attending. Oh, well, fine. We don't have to have a roommate agreement meeting if you don't want to. Thank you. Of course, this will require a vote. Unfortunately, my official gavel is in my bedroom, but luckily, I have oh, my boy. travel gavel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will still come to your meeting. Well, I should hope so. Tomorrow's picture day. I'm so confused why Penny's why on his side. Because yeah. it's important to him, and when we signed the roommate agreement, we made a deal. If you keep talking like that, you're going to make color guard. Ever since I started dating Claire and Emily at the same time, it's exhausting. You're exhausted? Try folding every five pages in a pregnancy book so your wife thinks you read it. But dude, you're so lucky getting to stay at home at night with the woman you love. I wake up and I'm like, am I at Claire's or am I at Emily's? Is there a third girl I've forgotten about? Like, yeah, it must be so rough, Raj. Where am I? Hey, how's the mommy to be? Good. I'm a little tired. I feel you. I've been dating multiple women. Are you up to date on Game of Thrones? Mm, I think so. Dragons, snow zombies, and all the hot guys are dead. That's That sums it up. I bet oh, they're on season five or six Theon right Greyjoy now. Greyjoy looks pretty good for a guy who has genitals cut off. Yep. You know you're going to make up with him. Can we just skip to that part? Oh, of course, because I'm the only adult around here. Really? The only adult? Yeah, that's right. Tonight, I'll be watching a show rated M.A., and that stands for Mature Audiences, Buster. Oh, it's just a meeting. One simple meeting. Stop saying meeting. Meeting, meeting, bo beating, banana <laughs> I'm a meeting. I brought my famous spinach dip. No, Amy, just one second. Meeting. <laughs> if it's a girl, I mean, they're so innocent, and you know how guys are. 
Totally, you guys are the worst. Look at me. I let Emily make me a frittata and I kept the leftovers in Claire's fridge that night. I'm such a dog. That's terrible, actually. <laughs> oh, I wish I could enjoy a cup of tea without a naked girl bouncing up and down on me. I never said that. Don't you hate it when you can't remember whose bra it is you found wedged in your couch? <laughs> Well, I get why he's annoyed. Well, then you don't understand what's happening. See, <laughs> Leonard refused to participate in a mandatory quarterly roommate agreement meeting. This is what a generation raised on Bart Simpson looks like. You love the Simpsons. I love Lisa Simpson. That makes sense. I never thought refiling a matter in a standing subcommittee could be so fascinating. <laughs> What do you think? You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think I see what's happening here. You're jealous of me. Oh, please. What could you possibly have that I would be jealous of? It's not what I have, it's how many people I'm having it with. <laughs> Come on, Sheldon, we'll watch Game of Thrones over here. I read the books. Don't get too fond of this character. <laughs> It's not always because they die. In one case, it's because they've become involved with underground tree people from the dawn of time. Yeah, but I won't say who it is. It's Bran. Oh, I was like, what wait a minute. Going Leonard's being a jerk, so we're gonna watch over here. Do you guys wanna watch with us? Wait, did Amy make a spinach dip? She did. And I'm gonna eat it all! <laughs> Oh, I just ran out of patience with Sheldon's nonsense. Maybe someone's here to apologize. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> Stuart? Uh, Why does his hair not look like Jon Snow and it looks like somebody else? Is that else? a dress-up party? <laughs> no. Howard, didn't you tell me it was a dress-up party? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was told this is where to go if I'm mad at Howard. And I'm angry at George R.R. R. Martin because there are no new books for me to spoil for Leonard. I mean, yeah. What happened with you and Howard? Says I was talking too much about dating Claire and Emily and I accused him of being jealous. He's impossible. I mean, holding a meeting to decide what breakfast cereal we should buy. Yeah. Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries. Move on. <laughs> anyway, Amy, thank you for sticking up for me. Oh, I honestly couldn't care less. <laughs> Sorry? And did you know she has him add things to the roommate agreement so she can get her way and not fight with you about it? Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know. I like the pain of others. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think told Kuthra Polly to go to human resources? Oh, God. Son of a bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it feels good. <laughs> All right, it's almost game time. Get it? Game of Thrones, game time. Shut up, Raj. Go to the other side now. We're done. Amy, why did you tell him that? Because you were defending Sheldon like you always do. I don't always defend Sheldon. Oh, yes, you do. You know you have a weird brother-sister Elliot E.T. relationship with him. <laughs> what about your weird relationship with him? That's different. I'm like the little girl in Poltergeist and he's the creepy thing on the TV. <laughs> Just a feeling. <laughs> Oh my god. Why are you dressed like that? <laughs> oh, uh, Howard thought it'd be funny to tell me it was a costume party. That wasn't nice. No, but he almost died, so we're cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you think about it, tonight was kind of like a real life Game of Thrones. No, it wasn't. How? Well, Howard eating that pistachio was like when King Joffrey got poisoned. How about this? Stuart's dressed like a brother of the Night's Watch, and they don't have sex. There That's you go. That's all good. <laughs> that works. That one, that one works. <laughs> hey. Hey. I'm fine. Hey, Jon Snow! 
How come your horse has a basket on it? <laughs> How come your hat has your face on it? <laughs> they don't wear bicycle helmets in Game of Thrones. You're thematically inaccurate, but I applaud your commitment to safety. You just lost bathroom privileges at the comic book store. <laughs> <laughs> Get on it, stupid. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, Stuart. <laughs> what now? What? I never got to ask my question about Batman. <laughs> Would he be man bat man bat man or simply man bat man bat batman? Is he still wearing the Batman suit under the man bat suit? <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was part seven of the Big Bang Theory season nine, and I gotta say, th <laughs> these episodes are pretty good. That Game of Thrones one was pretty good, but like, I don't know. Like, I think they pick on Stuart just a little too much. Like, yeah, he's funny, he's got some one liners that are good, and his life is really sad, so they use it for comedic effect, but at the same time, dude needs some serious help. Like, they need to help him out. He's he's going through it, you know. Sure, he's got his own apartment finally and everything, and he's got a successful comic book store and stuff like that. But, like, I don't know. It feels like after he moved out of Bernadette and Howard's house that they kind of put him back in that box. You know what I mean? Um, so I kind of would like to see Stuart go through some sort of growth in this show still. But... If you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, like I said at the beginning of this video, go ahead and check for the link down in the description, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.